Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And wanted to let you know we have the second in our workshop series coming up in rigging characters in Toon Boom Harmony. And this is coming up Saturday, March 26th from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Now, this event will be recorded, so if you can't make the date, you can still purchase a ticket and you'll get the recordings as well as all the demo files we use during the workshop. And we're going to be playing around and showing you how we rigged out this character, Sassy Toast. And if you look, uh, the rig, or at least the node view, is quite pretty. And I want to get into that in a second and can actually show you what the basis of this is like and why I think a lot of people actually mess up rigging that. But I did want to share with you what this is. Um, it's kind of a nice little little IK, a little little transparency here. Um, I learned this originally from uh, Art Zusa Animation, and I thought it was really cool. So I'm going to come up here. I can turn on my select this here and show all of my deformers. So I've got a nice little one built on the head there, a little bone deformer as well as I have curved deformers built in arms. And the way these are built, I can come here. And if I click on the hand, I'll go up the hierarchy, press B. Um, if I want to actually move this behind his back, I can do, let's do option up arrow. And so I've moved that back option down arrow or moving that toward me. So it's nudging the Z axis and kind of playing around with this and building out a very simple flat rig or flat node rig, meaning there's no hidden secrets here. Everything is actually out front. All right. And I can even, see if I grab the body. Uh -huh. Let's grab the hair. I go there, click here, and let's move the body there. So if you haven't already, go ahead and grab your tickets. We do have limited seating for our workshops and you can catch them. Uh, the link is in the description or in our little call outs. And what I want to show you now is one of the ways you can keep your node view pretty clean, I'll show you how this actually starts off. Uh, the rest of it, we're going to be building live during the workshop. So you'll see exactly how and why this was put together, mixing uh, not only deformers, but two point constraints. And of course, playing around with some V pegs or uh, little handles here to control how things are moving. So let me show you exactly how you can start off and kind of keep your rigs clean when you're building out in a node view. When you get ready to start rigging a character, there is one thing in my opinion that can get in the way. And that's when you get so excited about, oh, I'm going to do this to the leg or I'm going to do this to the arm that you forget one basic simple thing. And that's starting with a decent foundation. Now, what I mean by that is we have all of our pieces broken up, but I'm going to set up each one of my composites and put all of this in order before even adding the first peg. All right. So to do that, let's bring this over here. And I do control H. Go ahead and create a composite. And I'll go ahead and start uh, labeling out things pretty much in the order that I would like them to be. And make sure I'm setting that to pass through. Say so, okay. Now from here, I could literally go in and start copying these and pasting them. Chain this out to the mouth comp. and we'll do the body comp, and so on and so on. 
Now to do these, I can just simply, hold on my spacebar, move this over. So I'll take the mouth comp and I can hold down my option key and pull that into the cable. Take both of these, move this over there. There's the eyes comp. Pull that into its cable. And the body comp, I've got that called toast right here. All right, and I'm just gonna speed through the rest of these. Now, when it comes to the legs, we're basically doing the leg as well as the foot fed into our comp here. Now I'll do a little cleanup. Let's grab all the tops and we'll align these. And we'll also align all of the composites. Come up here and click and align those horizontally. Now it's at this point, because we've already got these separated, we have these in order where our head elements are to the left and we go all the way to the right. There's our arms and there's our legs. We have all of these set up so we can actually uh, build things out correctly. And to show you this little sneak here, what I can do is I'll go in and mess with one of the arms here because we're gonna actually divide that even more, but it gives us a little more of a clean area to work in because we're gonna be feeding everything into this one comp. So what I can do, one, I'm gonna turn on my light table. So I'm just focused on this arm here. And what I'll do here is we're gonna call this one front upper arm. All right, I'm gonna copy that text there. And I'm going to add another drawing, Command R, Control R on PC. And I'm going to do a front lower arm. Click Add, and then I'll do a front hand. Add and close. Now, this is all one solid drawing currently, but what I can do is one, I'm gonna feed the rest of these into the front arm composite. Go here and I can select the hand. I'll cut this, Command X, Control X on PC. Go to the hand drawing and make sure I'm coming back over here to my camera view. Go ahead and paste. And then I'll go to the upper arm. Now, if I look at this, I'm gonna look at with my contour editor. All right, there are just two points here. I'm gonna add an extra point where the elbow would be. Hold on my command key, and I can click directly on the path to add an extra point there. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. And now, making sure I'm on the select tool to do that. And now if I go to the contour editor, we're on the upper arm drawing right now. So I'm gonna select the bottom part of this and simply press delete or backspace. 
Now, since I already copied that and this is my clipboard, I can go to the lower arm and paste. Now I have to make sure that I'm back on my select tool and I'm in my camera view. Let's paste. And now grab the contour editor and get rid of that upper. So what I have is upper arm, lower arm, hand, and it's already feeding in correctly to my composite. So when I decide to go ahead and rig this, I can grab all three of these and I'll add a peg to each one, Command Shift P. All right, and the other hand, lower arm, upper arm, I'm gonna just go ahead and add another set of pegs. So this upper one here, and I can do my pivot points by coming up to my advanced animation tools. Grab the rotation, let's zoom out here. I'll place that about right there for the hand. And what I'll do next, and the reason I actually set these two pegs at the same time, I'll select not only the lower arm, but the lower arm master here. And I'll pull that peg over, or pull that little pivot point over there. And we'll do the same thing with the upper arm and the upper arm master. Now I'm going to turn off the toast layer for a second. So if I select toast and press D, that way I can actually see what's going on. And we'll just pull this over. And we have our upper arm pivot. And from this point, I'm just gonna pull these up a little bit. So we'll take our lower arm master, connect it to the hand, move the upper arm master up a little bit and connect that to the lower arm. All right, and we can turn our toast layer back on, just simply pressing the letter A. And there you have it. So by starting off that simple base, you can then go on and add more complex things, but don't put the cart before the horse. Make sure you have a solid base before you start rigging. And that way you have a better chance of keeping a clean outline as far as setting up your node view for your character. All right, if this has been helpful, please be sure to go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell so you can see what else we're up to. Last but not least, we have been doing mini workshops and we have another one coming up on Saturday, March the 26th. And it's gonna be Character Rigging and Harmony Part Two, Deformers 101, where you're gonna see how we work with different pieces of our character, adding deformers to the arms and to the legs. Uh, we're gonna do some more stuff with the cutter, as well as We'll be using some advanced masking and working with art layers to go ahead and design out the eyes for our character. So you can sign up for the link in the description or on the info card. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Make art, not excuses. So go make something. Have a good one.